You guys, we're officially less than a week away from PSX 2016. That's the PlayStation Experience Convention 2016. And there are a lot of rumors going around right now about a big announcement that's going to happen at this convention. Now, in the past, that has happened. We have had bigger announcements happen here, despite this kind of being a smaller convention compared to, say, E3, where more of the major companies and everything are, are, uh, are visiting. But in this case, this is Sony's, uh, Sony's convention specifically. So they're going to show, you know, games that they want to push for their system that are usually specific to them. And some of the rumors that are kind of flying around right now are interesting, and there's apparently three big games that could be there, uh, which is really cool, and we'll kind of go over them real quick, and we'll kind of determine as best we can the likelihood of them actually being there. So the first big game rumored to be there, which is an announcement kind of out of nowhere, it's not a game that's really been talked about much up until this point, and that's Marvel vs. Capcom 4. Now, if you've been... Uh, kind of looking around NeoGAF, you may have seen a, uh, a poster by the name of Rice. They have been posting recently that Marvel vs. Capcom 4 is going to make an appearance at PSX. And uh, it actually has some merit now because there are uh, some, some screenshots and stuff kind of going around from like promotional material, which, which may be showing up uh, next week on December 3rd. And... It's interesting because the actual screenshots look good. They they look very unless unless a very talented Photoshop artist made these and kind of put them out as like a leak just to kind of mess with people. These are pretty convincing things and it does talk about like the 20 years celebrating 20 years and everything of you know Marvel vs Capcom I guess and everything. But what what kind of kind of throws me off here is they have to get the licensing down for this to work and I think that would be kind of difficult. Although, now that Disney is kind of in the mix and they would be talking with them, there's a chance that Disney might want to push the Marvel characters uh, forward more with how successful the movies have been, and why not put them into a, um, a video game like this that will help push it even further, probably increase sales at uh, the theater, toys, all that stuff, merchandise. But what's interesting is all of the, all of the marketing material that we've seen only shows PlayStation as the console, PlayStation 4, and this could lead us to believe, guys, that Capcom maybe is keeping this only for the PlayStation. Uh, they did it, it was very similar with Street Fighter, obviously, that didn't go to plan, though, because the game was, uh, I don't want to say not finished, but not, not, there wasn't a lot to the game, really. They, they did slowly fix it over time with patches and everything, so the game's better now, but when it came out, it was very bare bones. But, if it is only coming out on Sony's consoles, that would be actually pretty big for the PlayStation, obviously, because at this point, if that's there and Street Fighter's there, the PlayStation pretty much becomes the the fighting game system for now with, you know, eSports and everything, because it'll have Mortal Kombat, but it'll also have Street Fighter. It'll have, uh, obviously, Marvel vs. Capcom, if that does come out. So, though, it'll be very popular on that end. Now, the next game that seems to be a little more of a stretch is actually... The Last of Us 2 could possibly be making an appearance there. And there is a poster on NeoGAF who has been uh, regarded at this point as an inside source because they have leaked stuff that has turned out to be true in the past. And that's Shinobi602. And what happened was somebody actually posted like a fan-made picture of uh, Last of Us 2, um, you know, kind of like a promotional thing that they made. And underneath that, a few posts down, Shinobi602 kind of posted saying, you may not need to wait long. Which, of course, threw the forum into a big, you know, a big tirade, you know, fuss and everything. And everyone's trying to ask, you know, hey, what, what's going on and everything. And they, they don't really want to tell us at, at that point. But they're basically saying, hey, you might need to wait long. Uh, I, would cons I would assume it would be shown at E3. However, this is a Sony-specific convention. Maybe they want to really put that out there as... Uh, you know, something to showcase and show off for the PlayStation. Um, so, you know what, it it could be there. Last of Us 2 could be there. I don't know how realistic it is since there's no other real leaks about it and there's really no, like, cover art or box art or even screenshots or anything out there. Um, but it would be cool to see The Last of Us 2 as, like, a big surprise announcement at this point. I think that would really help out Sony going forward, especially if it's a release date uh, of 2017, that would actually be really good, you know, because then they push more consoles in the holiday when Scorpio is out. And the last game that's rumored to be there uh, is Death Stranding. Now, I'm sure we all remember the super weird trailer from a little while ago where it showed, you know, Daryl from The Walking Dead essentially holding a baby. 
and we were all kind of looking for a little bit more. And apparently, based on, again, our friend Shinobi602, we're going to possibly see a little more meat to the story and what's going on exactly at the PlayStation Expo. And based on what they're saying, it's not using the infamous 2 engine, it's going to actually be using a completely new uh, engine for the game uh, that they're going to show off at PSX 2016. And I guess we'll see more in terms of, you know, uh, graphical fidelity and things like that, because we may actually see some gameplay. They're not telling us exactly what we'll see, they're just saying that it will be there in some form, whether that be a, tr you know, a quick one minute trailer, all the way up to maybe four or five minute trailer with some gameplay thrown in. Granted, if we see gameplay, it's going to be very, very early stage gameplay because this the game itself is still in, I would say, probably pre-alpha at this point, considering they did come out and kind of give us a release date of somewhere in the 2019, which is very far away, so we, we still have quite a bit to go, but they could still come out with promotional material, whether it be a trailer or some very early gameplay, maybe part of a level or something. I will say I do want to see more of Death Stranding. After playing through the demo of PT a couple times, I did like the idea of kind of a, a crazy, psychological, scary game that uh, Hideo Kojima was making. So I really do want to see, I'm following Death Stranding very closely as well, and I would like to see a little more from either a story standpoint to see what's going on, or even just see how the game's gonna play. So I, I will be keeping an eye out for PSX for that game specifically. Again guys, take all of these rumors with a pinch of salt. They're not in stone or anything, but these are the leaks heading into PSX 2016, so we can kind of keep an eye out and see if any of them turn out to be true. It's always fun to see rumors and speculation and then see if it's going to be true. So we'll know on December 3rd, so about a week from now, we'll know if anything they said is true and it'll be cool if we see Marvel vs. Capcom 4, Last of Us 2, or Death Stranding. Any one of them would be really cool to see. But let me know what you guys think down below uh, what you think is going to show up at PSX 2016. Personally, if I had to pick between the three, I would probably go with Death Stranding only because we don't know much about it. It's a Sony-only game. And right now, it's the only game out of those three that is even confirmed to exist at this point. So, um, that would be my personal guess, is Death Stranding will be there in some capacity with some sort of trailer or gameplay. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, maybe there's a certain game I didn't even think about that could show up that would be really cool. Um, I mean, pretty much any Sony, any Sony uh, IP is on the table here. So whatever you guys think, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.